Do you like purple or white better? Gotta go with the purple. You like the purple Pythor? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Is the purple the, sec the second one or the first one? Oh, crap. <laughs> How are you so good at sounding evil for characters like Pythor and Starscream? Is there a secret to your success? I think I was just really, I mean, ever since I was little, I've been a huge movie buff, right? So, I mean, that's a lot of material, to, and, and I've just always loved the villains. I've always really studied them and watched them to yeah. see what makes them great. Starscream or Pythor? Who would I pick? Yeah, who would you like better? I know, that's, that's a terrible question to ask. I know, especially since most Because I love them both. Because, um, because I, I enjoyed the journey that I that I went on with Starscream in, in, in the Transformer series that we did. And Pythor is, is a completely different character in the sense that he's he's just fun, mm -hmm. you know? So I, I like, I know it's, it's a really lame answer, but I, I, I can't choose between no, them. No, that's fine. I completely, understand. Yeah, because I, I have... I enjoy them for two completely different reasons. Would you do a TF Con? There's a Transformers convention in, in Miss. How do you say Mississauga? Mississauga. Mississauga. How do you say it? Mississauga. Mississauga. And you know what? I've only got, I've only ever been invited to one, and I think I've been, um, and I've done it twice. The second time was for GI Joe. Oh. Um, but I I, I went. To, um, Brian Savage was kind enough to invite me one year, and I had like the best time with those guys down there. So you would do it? Yes. Do you have any Lego sets? No. Oh wait, yeah I do. Kopaka. Oh, Bionicle. Yeah. Kopaka? Yeah. Is that the dumb guy? No. Oh, you did, <laughs> you did two voices? Under, in that crawl space in there? Mm-hmm. I have boxes and boxes full of like action figures from stuff that I've done. You know. Boxes and boxes full? I have a really cool shelf. We can get you a Pythor to stand next to him. Yes. Then we're, we're he'd, be, he'd be just like, you're on another show. Why are you here? <laughs> what is this Wolverine versus Saber Toon TV miniseries you did? Well, I played um, Hulk. And st I was Hulk in, in that series. Okay, wait. Time off. You've been Starscream. You've been Hulk. You've been Batman. That's a joke here, too. <laughs> No, you weren't. Yeah. What were you the Joker on? Like, seriously? In that Batman series, yeah. I got to play Joker. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Was like, that's crazy. Yeah, You've been some iconic character. Like, I actually pulled Wolverine into two pieces. He goes, <laughs> pulls him in half. And I toss his legs. <laughs> I mean, violent about that. <laughs> yeah. So he has to go looking for his legs. So that, that, was, that was pretty cool to do that. So, <laughs> it was cool to rip someone's legs off. <laughs> Hulk smash! If you could hang out with Pythor, what would you guys do? <laughs> Martini lounge, most likely. <laughs> I'm sure Pythor would end an Aston Martin. Do you remember playing a character in Oban Star Racers? If so, yeah. Have you heard that a sequel might be coming? No. Do you have any pets? Well, yeah. Yeah, we, Molly the snoring dog. What's it like working in the studio with voice actors? <laughs> We're lucky, aren't we? And you know what's lucky about it? Because our community is... is uh, like all the like, we've all known each other for a long, long time, and we're all very, very tight friends. I mean, we, we often grab lunch together and do voice actors like together. each other. Yeah. No, when I hear somebody's got a role, like I'm yeah, like, you get oh, excited. Man, happy for you, man. Yeah. I, like, you just accidentally punched them in the throat. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> <laughs> there's a star scream right there looking at us. Yes. You know, and a Ninja Turtle. Were you a Ninja Turtle? Yeah, it was Leonardo. High five. It's totally cool to be a turtle, dude. Man, you were a turtle as well? Yeah. Would you keep a snake as a pet? No. I mean, I get it. Like, they're pretty interesting, intriguing creatures, but... You have to feed like, them live mice. you have to feed them live mice, mice and stuff like that. And I just, like... I'm, I do like little mice. Like, they're... <laughs> it sounded weird. I, don't care. I like little mice. It's like... I play with mice. What are you going to... I like that. Today. Yeah. Me and the mice get together. Get together. <laughs> I mean, we all like cheese. <laughs> You know, yeah. talking about just our various, just, nibble, just, just a bit. little bit of cheese, nibbling, roll around, play with them, that oh, sort oh, of oh, thing. Yes. They're good for a frolic. They're good frolic with the mice. <laughs> I mean, uh, and I often have an urge to crawl inside a wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Or do you no, I, I, I mean, that once. and only a mouse would we'll appreciate that and want to do it right. with you. Yes. You know, like, I'm in the wall. Mm. Your sniff is good. Yeah. You smell things. Yeah, and it, like, yeah. It smells like cheese. Might be cheese. All good. Right, too. Okay. Oh, yeah. Do you want a snake? No. No. I'm assuming you've done some sort of voice acting with, with one or two of your brothers before. Yes. Do you have a favorite memory of that? If I remember correctly, I, I think all three of us were in on a Fantastic Four um, because um, Paul mm -hmm. was Doctor Doom. Yes. Yes. Brian was It's Clobber Time! Um, what's the name? Why can't I think of the name of the character? Stupid. Uh, the Thing? Yes. The Thing. Okay. Hey, Thank you, The Thing. One to me. You got it. The yeah. Thing. And, um... And who I I played? Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, you can remember what they played, but you can't remember, they remember what I played. I had Fantastic Four, I think. Oh, in Fantastic Four, I was Ghost. I was just thinking, like, were we actually all in the studio on that one day? I might have not played Ghost. I might have been, because there was a couple other characters I played. <laughs> I might have had just some incidental character on that day. I don't know. So I might not have been Ghost. But I remember the three of us, I think, were in on one of those fantastic <laughs> One of our friends is watching and is going, Wait a second. I was Ghost. <laughs> no, I remember I was Ghost. I was Ghost. Um, oh, no, wait a second. I was Ghost in Iron Man, for crying out loud. I was Ronan the Accuser. That's what I was. Yes. <laughs> and that is right. I was running the accuser, Doctor Doom, and the thing. All three of you, right? Yeah. Okay. It happened. Best day ever. How, how do they translate shows so um, people in other countries can view them? Do you guys have to learn other languages? <laughs> do they get other actors? To do? Yeah, that's the, one of the things a lot of people don't realize when you have to be. That's terrible isn't it, to make light of that question. But I know. Sorry. Like, yeah, we do it in English, and then it goes to other parts of the world, and they ADR us which is ADR is Automated Dialogue Replacement. Um, they match the mouth movements in another language. Just like when we do it. anime, we weird the go dubbers. Yes, yeah, so we go from English. Japanese to English. Yeah, it might be like, Are you so good to get And then you say, She's Wait, the... guys, over there! You know? Yeah. Are you... Just... <laughs> I don't know why my hand looks like a dog, but how many times... Have, how many times have you died in, oh. in anime? We had, in Gundam Wing, Rob Bakewell, who was the director, um, started to make note of like who had the most fiery deaths. Right. And it became up between Ward Perry and me. Yeah. And so he wanted to create an award called the Burning Flesh Award. <laughs> um, I think I only beat Ward by two. I think, um, I think he was like 94 and I was like 96. 96 deaths. Deaths. In one show. Yes. So that was, that was a lot of... I died a lot in that show too. Yeah. Yeah. Gundam. Well, Gundam went over a long time. There was this kind of Gundam, and there's that kind of Gundam, and yeah. such. Would you like to voice act any other sort of character in Ninjago? Well, I, I think I'd like to have one of your parts because you're in all the episodes. Yeah. Let's say this Batman character that you're in. There's a series of 20 episodes, but Batman was going to be in 10 of them. But it's Batman. Yeah. Would you rather be Batman in yes. 10 or yes. just a, yes. a Joe Blow character for 20? Yeah. Without a doubt. Yeah. You go for the Batman. Yeah. Right? See, that's where it gets interesting, right? Yeah. If you take an iconic character, do you sacrifice the, the money? They might not understand this conversation. No, but so. it's true, because we said that earlier. We talked about, um, we talked about the fact that um, we would have done Transformers for nothing, right? Well, yeah, let's not make that so public, but yeah. <laughs> if anybody was asked, to, like, who's your favorite like, animated Batman? Mm -hmm. More often to none, people would say Kevin Conroy, and I have to agree. Like I, I love what he did with the original Batman series when they revamped it in the nineties. Mm -hmm. Kevin Conroy was just outstanding. He's amazing, and of course, the quintessential Joker, Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I I've heard he's done some cool stuff. Yeah, <laughs> Mark Hamill. This is a big show. He's done some stuff. I some, know, some big, movies. some sort of like sci-fi thing or something. Or something. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Yeah. Is there any last comments that you would like to say? I think at the end of the day, whatever it is that you choose to do for a career, just make sure, I mean, it's as straight as it sounds. It's like, if, if you love it and you're passionate about it, how can you fail? Well, if you suck. <laughs> There's... Like, yeah. like, let's be honest. No, 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 that's what I mean. It's like, we 90% have to be of the people on American Idol should have never walked onto that stage, but they believe that they are American Idol stars. Unless you're delusional. If you're delusional, then... then but, do you know what, man? What? A lot of people are delusional. Like, a lot of people think they can be voice actors or, or film actors or famous people 
and they have no clue on what that means. But you are right. You have to persevere, be passionate, and work hard. I'd like to fly a space shuttle. And, yeah, see, there's no chance. Why? I'm going to be a professional Lego builder. That's going to go over well. <laughs> I'd like to say thank you to everybody who, who like, wrote in all these questions and and for all their support that they give us in, in, in this in this job that we do. Yeah, Pi it's pretty cool to hear from everybody. Pythor is a very popular character. He is, like in, in the yeah. Ninjago community. Okay, ready? Pythor P. Chumsworth. It was a P. What yeah, does the P stand for? Proud. Heard it right here. <laughs> <laughs> we finally found out what his name is. Check below. Uh, you'll see his Instagram, you'll see his Twitter, and you'll see his website to his studio, which I think I'm going to take a few shots and show you. Please support him and get to know Michael and he is amazing voice talent. Thanks for being hey, here, buddy. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, well, no, that's Pound. Just pound, pound. I got real awkward with your brother when we said goodbye. Did, did why? What happened? We kind of did like a weird yeah. bangled hug thing. So. Kind of like Twister. Twister. <laughs> Let me tell her, see, it's real. It's not awkward at all. <laughs> <laughs> we go from here into to this here. room. Oh. Your dog. And we can step into here. Oh, mm -hmm. this is quiet in here. This is very... I love the sound in here. It's nice, isn't it? This is where you do Skype calls and... Yeah, and then they got a keyboard and everything here, so they... You just bring all the stuff up on this screen here. So well done. You can bring up scripts and everything up on there too, so that way it saves on paper too, so I don't have to print stuff, I can just throw it up there, which is nice. Yeah. And this, if anybody's wondering, I, I'm a huge fan of Genesis. Started listening to them when I was 13. Yeah. And um, and if you look really closely, Phil Collins signed it. Thanks to Jolie. Where? His daughter. Right there. I know, that was the only thing. Oh. It was like, Phil, you signed with blue ink. There you go. On a blue background. <laughs> but this was the first album that, um, that Phil Collins started drumming on. Nice. Yeah, so it was cool. So um, Jolie was... So she's an actor, as you guys probably know. But anyway, she was kind enough to take this and get her dad to sign it for me, which was awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Here we go. This is where all the magic happens.